Hey guys, it's your boy Peter John. Welcome to the episode 730 of Logo History. Today I'm going to talk about Adobe Photoshop and Adobe After Effects. These are the people who requested today's logos. I hope you like it. First, I'm gonna talk about Adobe After Effects. It is a digital visual effects, motion graphics, and compositing application developed by Adobe Incorporated. It is used in the post-production process of filmmaking, video games and television production. Among other things, After Effects can be used for keying, tracking, compositing, and animation. 1993-1995, here we have the logo of the first Adobe After Effects name, Cosa Aldis After Effects. Here we have the 1.0-2.0 version. There is a gray square on a red outline, and on it there are two white rings, and on them there is a white plus sign, and on it, there are the letters of an E in black text. 1995 to 1999, they changed its name to Adobe After Effects. Here we have the 3.0 to 3.1 version. There is a dark gray square on a gray and black outline, and on it there is a blue and light circle on a black outline, and on it there is a black plus sign, and on it, there is a white number 3 on a black outline. Here is a variant and a part of a trailer. to 1999, here we have the 4.0 version. There is a gray square on a blue and black outline, and on it there are two white rings, and inside the rings, there is a white number 4 on a black outline, and on the right of the rings, there is the white number 4.0 on a black outline. Here is a variant and a part of an intro. 1999 to 2001, here we have the 4.1 version. The number 4.0 has been replaced with the number 4.1. 2001 to 2003, here we have the 5.0 to 5.5 version. Here we have a blue white and green gradient square on a blue outline, and on it there is a gray square, and on it there is a white letter in and under the square, there is the word Adobe in gray text, and on the right of the gray square, there is a white black and yellow tower, and coming out from it, there are six white and blue lightnings. Here is a variant. 2003 to 2006, we have the 6.0 to 6.5 version. The square is now in a white, yellow and orange gradient, the tower is bigger, and the lightnings are now white. Here is a variant. 2006 to 2007, here we have the version 7 CS2. Here is a white rounded square on a black shadow, and on it there are five purple rounded shapes. Here is a variant. 2007 to 2008, here we have the version 8 CS3. There is a purple square and on it there are the letters of ND in white text. 2008 to 2010, here we have the version 9 CS4. The square is now gray, and the letters are now black. Here is a variant. 2010 to 2012, here we have the version 10 CS5 to CS5.5. The square is now darker, and 3D and the letters are now in gray text. Here is a variant and a part of a trailer. What we want to show you here is something called 2012 to 2013, here we have the version 11 CS6. There is a dark purple square on a pink outline, and inside it there are the letters of Indian pink text. Here is a variant and a part of a trailer. The Adobe After Effects CS6. 2013 to 2015, here we have the version 12cc to 13.2cc 2014.2. The outline is thinner and the logo is darker. Here is a variant and a part of a trailer. Very quickly. So if I go up to the effects and presets panel here, and first let me go ahead, I made a little map. 2015 to 2020, here we have the version 13.5 CC 2015 to 15.1 CC 2020. The logo is brighter. Here is a variant and a part of a trailer. Create more expressive designs with newly expanded shape tools in the latest release of After Effects. Tapered shape strokes enable you to bring things to a point. You can ease the tapering for a softer look, or add a wave to give your lines a more handcrafted style. And new parameters and offset paths allow you to make concentric copies of a path that radiate outward or inward. 
Animate the offset to generate geometric transitions with a retro vibe. Adjust your paths to create unique graphic elements and backgrounds. Explore the creative possibilities of these tools and take your shape layers new places with the latest release of After Effects. 2020 to the present, here we have the version 17.1 CC 2020. There is a dark blue rounded square, and inside it there are the letters of Indian blue text. Here is a variant and a part of a trailer. You've probably been spending a lot of time at home lately, and you might be thinking it would be nice to have a change of scenery. How would you like to see yourself in a tropical paradise? Or dancing with loved ones in front of an exciting buzzword? Or even climbing up a basket of shoes and you're tiny for some reason? This is all easier than ever with Roto Rush 2, coming soon to After Effects Beta. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Adobe Photoshop. It is a raster graphics editor developed and published by Adobe Incorporated for Windows and Mac OS. It was originally created in 1987 by Thomas and John Knoll. Since then, the software has become the most used tool for professional digital art, especially in raster graphics editing. 1988 to 1990 is a beta, here we have version 0.07 to 0.87. There is a black and white pixelated drawing of a store, and on it there is the word 1HR in white text on a black outline. 1990 to 1991, here we have the version 1. There are four black shapes, and between them there is a black square, and inside it, there is a black and white pixelated drawing of an eye. Here is a variant and a part of an intro. 1991 to 1994, here we have the version 2. The shapes have been removed, the square is now red on a black shadow, and the drawing is more detailed and gray. Here is a variant and a part of an intro. 1994 to 1996, here we have the version 3. There is a blue, yellow, red, green, white and gray square, and on it there is a black, white and gray pixelated drawing of an eye. Here is a variant and part of an intro. 1996 to 2000, here we have the version 4 to 6. There is a gray, white, red and black square, and inside it there is a black, white and gray pixelated drawing of an eye. Here is a variant and a part of an intro. 2002 to 2003, here we have the version 7. There is a blue square and inside it there is a blue and white gradient background, and on it there is a gray square, and on it, there is a white letter and under the gray square, there is the word Adobe in gray text, and on the right of it, there is a drawing of a person's eye, and on it there is a blue ring. Here is a variant and a part of an intro. 2003 to 2005, here we have the version 8 CS. There is a white rounded square on a black shadow, and on it there is a green, orange and blue feather. Here is a variant and a part of an intro. 2005 to 2007, here we have the version 9 CS2. The feather has now turned to the other side, and it is now blue and green. Here is a variant and a part of an intro. If we open up uh, Photoshop, the first thing we see 2007 to 2008 here we have the version 10 cs3 there is a blue square and inside it there are the letters p and s in white text here is a variant and a part of an intro 2008 to 2010 here we have the version 11 cs4 the square is brighter and the letters are now in black text here is a variant and a part of an intro 2010 to 2012, here we have the version 12 CS5. The square is now darker and 3D, and the letters are now in light blue text. Here is a variant and a part of an intro. That early. Uh, so let's just go and open it up and go and open a new. 2012 to 2013, here we have the version 13 CS6. There is a dark blue square on a blue outline, and inside it there are the letters P and S in blue text. Here is a variant and a part of an intro. 2013 to 2015, here we have the version 14cc to 15cc 2015. The outline is thinner and the logo is brighter. Here is a variant and a part of a trailer. Photoshop CC, available only in the Creative Cloud. 2015 to 2019, here we have the version 16cc 2015 to 20cc 2019. The logo is darker. Here is a variant and a commercial. 
2019 to 2020. Here we have the version 21cc 2020 to 21.1.3. There is a black rounded square on a blue outline, and inside it there are the letters P and S in white text. Here is a part of a trailer. Hey everybody and welcome, today I'm going to be showing you how to change the background. 2020 to the present, here we have the version 21.2cc 2020. There is a dark blue rounded square, and inside it there are the letters P and S in blue text. Here is a variant in the commercial. Okay guys, this is it for today. I really hope you liked it. Stay tuned for the episode 731 that is going to be about KTBS TV in Dossier, WAPA TV and Save More Market. And also don't forget to join my Discord server and to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my videos. I am Peter John, this is Logo History and until the next video, bye.